Paul, Heinrich Bucher, and Hannah Arendt, composed in the tower before his execution, these moving verses and being brought at that time, painfully to the stake submitted declaring thus, I implore my God to witness that I have made no crime. Nor was he forsaken of courage, but the death was horrible. The sack of gunpowder failing to ignite, his legs were blistered sticks on which the black sap bubbled and burst as he howled for the kindly light. And that was but one, and by no means one of the worst, permitted at least his pitiful dignity, and such as were by made prayers in the name of Christ, that shall judge all men for his soul's tranquillity. We move now to outside a German wood. Three men are there commanded to dig a hole in which the two Jews are ordered to lie down and be buried alive by the third, who is a pole. Not light from the shrine at Weimar beyond the hill, nor light from the heaven appeared, but he did refuse. A luger settled deeply in its cloth. He was ordered to change places with the Jews. Much casual death had drained away their souls, the thick dirt mounted to where the quivering chin, when only the head was exposed, the order came to dig him out again, and to get back in. No light, no light in the blue Polish eye, when he finished the riding booth back down the earth. The Luger hovered lightly in his glove. He was shot in the belly and in three hours bled to death. No prayers or incense rose up in those hours which grew to be years and every day came mute ghosts from the ovens sifting through crisp air and settled upon his eyes in a black suit.